Um, you tested, or you you had the opportunity to get into IndyCar, um, and you had talked before that that man, I'm interested in this. I'd love to uh, explore this. You drive the car and you get out and you go, okay, checked all the boxes. I'm in. And, and yeah. It seemed like you were much more enthusiastic and confident in the opportunity, confident in yourself to go do it. I guess is that what happened there? You were able to go out and drive For the sure. car and say, yeah, I, I can do this. Yeah, and when I back up to maybe two years ago, McLaren and Zach Brown at McLaren gave me an opportunity to swap cars with Fernando Alonso, and the experience just blew my mind. And they set up a proper test, and I, I got a full day in the car. Granted, it was an older car, not the, the race tire that they're on, but that that experience and being able to match Fernando's lap time kind of sparked some interest in my mind to, to try that and pursue it further. And McLaren's been very gracious to, to try to integrate me into various programs and look to the future about what we can do. We had a test date set up in April and then the lockdown happened. And then through that, there was interest from some friends at uh, CGR to, to try to pursue a, a test session and just see what I thought. So, you know, a lot happened at, a, I think the third time I finally was able to go to the track and it was with CGR and the car exceeded expectations. My ability to sense and feel the car around the majority of the lap and, and try to exploit time out of the car was something I was looking for. And, and certainly things happen a lot quicker, but I could still, still feel and sense what was going on. And I think with enough seat time, I could go out there and not embarrass myself. So that's what I was really looking to do. And uh, just thankful that Chip Ganassi Racing gave me that opportunity. Scott Dixon was super cool, came and hung out. Um, Doug Ducart, who, who <laughs> some may know, and certainly we know on this call, uh, you know, runs things over there. So a lot of familiar faces and friends, and uh, they made it very inviting for me. So when do the when does the conversations about racing a car, uh, competing in an event, when does those when do those conversations begin? And that's that's all taking place now. Literally following that test date, you know, it, it, it sparked what I needed. And, you know, I've, I've been able to tell the teams that I'm talking with that, hey, the interest is there. You know, it's a tricky time right now with marketing dollars being hard to find and companies that are actually able to spend money on marketing right now with the COVID situation. So we're, we're out trying to find funds and, and literally trying to raise sponsorship funds to go run the full road course and street circuit. Um, what? You know, schedule that, that IndyCar has. That, that would be my dream, my dream world to run so you- 12 or 13 we we'll get on pack. Hold on, we're processing. We're digesting yeah. what you just Thir- said. You said this thirteen. I think they have twelve or thirteen. 12 road or thirteen course road races. Course races. You'd like to run all of those? Not. Um, wow. So yes, that's that's fantastic. Yeah. I didn't know you were such a. Uh, I mean, there's a lot there. I didn't know you enjoyed road courses that much to go do thirteen uh, or twelve. Um, you know, we have them on our, our, our cup <laughs> schedule, but, you know. It's unfathomable for, today, to, to for anybody or, to want to go to a road course. Two, <laughs> two or three, and I'm pretty good. When you drive a proper road course car, yeah, you're like, wow, all the ba- all the things that I thought were bad habits end up being good habits in a, in a car that's really designed to do that. Yeah. So <laughs> that, that was Bahrain a couple years ago in the F1 car. I was like, whoa. And then I'm like, okay, well, you know, that's an F1 car. It's an Indy car like that. And I got to drive a current Indy car, and I'm like, "Yep, it's pretty darn close." Wow. So, um, what about the and, and, and is this relationship with Chip Ganassi? Is that is are you you know are you forming that relationship or still looking for that team? Uh, how's how's how does that happen? I mean, what what or what do you have to be with a particular manufacturer? What's the what's the situation there? Everything's really open right now, and I'm, I'm speaking to quite a few teams. You know, there's certainly interest with, um, you know, my status and, and the switch and the interest that would come with that. Um, so I, I don't have a team narrowed down yet, but, um, you know, we, we have a lot of lines in the water looking for sponsorship to take to, you know, a variety of teams. There is the manufacturer conversation. Some of the teams I'm speaking to are Chevy. Others are not. Uh, so that's something I have to consider and, and weigh out, you know, as time goes on. So, it, we're, we're in that planning phase right now as corporate America looks to allocate funds. Yeah. And, you know, in the next four to six weeks, I, I hope to have some clarity on it. And there's not any ro- there's not any ovals that interest you? Not right now. I mean, you need more time in the car? 250 in a little go kart. I'm not yeah. sure that's a what I want to be doing right now. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the, the 500, of course, is 
I mean, that's what I want to do as a kid. So I, it's on my radar, but I, I want to watch this year with their new, um, you know, windscreen, you know, safety mechanism that they have and, and see how that all unfolds. And then certainly a year in the car and I, to blow your mind again, I, I would sign a two year deal to go into car racing for, uh, you know, all their road and street circuits. So <laughs> And this is what I'll do. He I, I would the, maybe look at the 500. Th- this is our answer on, you know, would you consider coming back to NASCAR next year? No, he's got too many too many lines in the water. He's oh, going yeah. after this IndyCar. Good point. He's going after the circuit, man. Good he's going point. after the IndyCar deal. This is this is beautiful. You know, there's a part of me, there's a part of me that's like, you know, I watched all my heroes take a helmet and race anywhere around the world and try to bring trophies home. And then Fernando Alonso is probably the most recent guy to try that. And with my status and connections why not try it, you know, and to add to that IndyCar mix, I mean, I, I'm open to run the marquee events in, in sports car racing. I'd even like to go get dirty in an off-road truck. You know, I, I'm pretty open to how this might shake out. So, uh, you know, if, if I can get around a 15 race schedule for next year, next couple of years, I, I'd be really happy with that. Nice. Hey, you know, what would be interesting is Jimmy's personality with those IndyCar driver personalities, which we've now been, you know, a little baptized a little bit into that, whether through the, uh, the the iRacing race at Michigan. And then we were even having that conversation last week about the difference of personalities. They're not the same breed as NASCAR drivers. No. What, what about... Our vocabulary is way different to start with. Well, vocabulary, <laughs> yes, but I'm talking about just the pers- persona and the... the uh, the, the 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 switch seems to flip very soon for those guys, at least some of them, and and it's entertaining. Yeah, I saw that too in iRacing. racing. Those guys go oh, nuclear. Thank yes. you. That's me and track. Mike. That's were, right. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. We had, the, we had I, I had the exact same experience, and Mike was had his ear to the ground while I was in that uh, little IndyCar bubble, and and we even talked about on the show last week um, with Hinch uh, about the different the the personalities are so v- varied. Right. Yeah. Uh, we're all in NASCAR. The majority of us are born in the United States. Uh, yeah. There's, you know, from coast to coast, it's different uh, cultures and so forth. But for the most part, we all understand what a block is. We all, learn, you know, for the, <laughs> for the most part. Now, some people still don't know what one is, but um, for the most part, we all know how to dr- racing stock cars had a, has a certain etiquette. And in any car, these guys all come from so many different types of racing and they're the, the, for ex- like the way you race in Australia, the way their the way their approach to racing is, their aggression and so forth, what's okay and what's not okay is so different than maybe Finland or or Germany, you know. And, and everybody's tall a different way. And when you put all those people on the same racetrack, man, you get some combustion. Yeah, you get some wild reactions from these guys. You do it's fun. What's amazing to me too is is the brotherhood that exists within. You know, that garage area amongst the drivers, I think it's stronger than the brotherhood in, in NASCAR. That's interesting. And then I also think they have a little thicker skin because, again, back to the iRacing, they stripped each other down yeah. in a heartbeat on the driver <laughs> chat. But there's still but there's still that tight brotherhood. Like I heard stuff said. I thought, man, these guys are going to fight. You know, if, if they were in the same city or, or country, that they would they would fight. And, yeah. you know, they're fine 10 minutes later. So it's a very interesting dynamic. Yeah, totally. That is that is uh, some great points. Um, I and, you, and I think that that's something that I didn't know about the series that they should promote because I, that made me like want to watch it is to see those know that those yeah. dynamic personalities are clashing. Um, Do you remember Will Powers Double Birds? Oh yeah. yes, yeah. To, to the tower. I mean, to the tower. That 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 is as close as we have seen to. The way those guys really that was great. Kind of interact. That's a great point. And, yeah. and that they need, you're right. They need more of that. I yeah. mean, when when the, when a driver jumps out and throws double birds at the tower, I mean, that's like world class. It is. It's it's there and it's happening. And I think if they showed that yeah. more.